Hey, boys and girls, it is Mr. McAndrew, the math coach. As always, very excited to be with you. You're probably wondering sometimes, why does Mr. McAndrew wear the same thing day after day? Well, it's a good question. You should know that I'm actually not. I'm actually recording these videos all on the same day. You're just watching them on different days. So just wanted to clear that up in case you were wondering. Um, so yesterday, you guys did awesome with getting into division. I know that was could have been challenging for some of you, so I wanted to um, share some of the work that I did. Um, so with the word problem, um, if Felicia right had to go 24 feet and each jump was six feet, then I figured out she'd have to take four jumps. Did you figure that out as well? Yeah, so it would be, so first jump she'd get to six and then to 12 and then to 18 and finally on the fourth jump, she gets to 24. Right? She if she took another jump and that would be five jumps, she'd end up on 30 and that would be too far. So um, she would have taken four jumps of six, right? Four jumps of six feet is 24 or four times six equals 24. And my division number sentence, right? We started with, we knew the total, which was she went 24 feet. That's the total, right? And then we divided it up into hops or jumps of six feet and said, well, if each hop is six feet, how many hops did she take? And we figured out that that would be four. So 24 divided into hops of six gives us four hops. Okay, so um, in terms of the work that you did here, right, I know I went over a couple of these, but here's what I had. I figured out that she would need, or you would need six jumps of three to get to 18. All right, so you're welcome to pause the video and look at the work that I did to see if it matches what you did, okay? The division, if you get, you might get a little confused here, it's not 18 divided by six, because we didn't know that it was six. It's 18 divided into hops of, or jumps of three would give us six jumps. Okay, same down here. 10 feet divided by jumps of two would give us five jumps one two three four five okay and then this page again if you need to pause the video to look at it feel free this page looks like this there were oh I didn't write that one down there were four jumps of seven to land on 28 right seven 14 21 28 okay um, again here there were four jumps of five to land on 20 5 10 15 20 uh, five jumps of six. We were just talking about that, right? We know that if we know that four jumps of six is 24, one more jump would give us to 30. So, and I've written down the multiplication and division number sentences. And then finally, if you have three jumps of nine, you would land on 27. Okay. All right. So feel free to pause the video and look at that if you need to. Otherwise, um, just follow along here. I'm going to go back to my handy dandy super cool math app. So today, division is going to be different. We're going to know how many jumps there are, but we're not going to know how big the jumps are. So it's like the opposite of yesterday. Like yesterday, we knew how long the jumps were, but we didn't know how many jumps. Today, we're going to know how many jumps there are, but we don't know how long they are. So we have to figure that out, okay? And that's division. So it says, uh, please read along with me, boys and girls. It says, Kia, the kangaroo, took five equal jumps. Okay, so five equal jumps and traveled 35 feet. So we know that Kia, oh boy, this doesn't even go to 35 feet. We'll have to just, uh, we'll have to pretend we know it's over there, okay? Um, how long were each of her equal jumps? Okay, so I don't know. Right, so sometimes you have to sort of think like, well, what do I think it's going to be? What about five? Let's try five. So if I jump by fives, so that's oops, one jump, two jumps, three jumps, four jumps. I need to get to five jumps. All right, so does five jumps get us to 35? It does not. So I take my eraser, I click this one. I say, yes, clear it. That didn't work. So let's try six jumps of six, so five jumps of six. Oops, 
Uh, let's get you out of the way, please. Okay. We'll say one jump of six, two jumps of six, three jumps of six. This might work, boys and girls. Four jumps of six. Oh, five jumps of six lands on 30. But we need to get to 35. So that did not work either. So let's erase that. All right, should we try seven or eight? What do you think? All right, let's just keep going. Let's try seven. So we start at zero. We do one hop of seven. Another hop gets us to 14, right? Uh, another jump gets us to 21. Another hop gets us to 28. Oh, this might do it. And one more hop would get us to 35. You have to trust me on that. You can't see it. Okay, so we have five hops. And we figured out that each hop would have to be seven feet long to get to 35. So we could say that Dia took five jumps of seven feet to get to 35. Okay, and think of it as multiplication or as division. We say here, right, the total number of feet was 35. If you divide that into seven, sorry, five equal jumps then each jump is seven feet. Okay, so it's similar to yesterday, but it's different, right? Different today because we don't know how many jumps she took. Uh, sorry, we do know, Mr. McAndrew, get your head on straight. We know how many jumps she took, but we don't know how long they were, but we just figured it out using the number line, all right? Awesome possum. So let's go to your math packet. <clears throat> I know it's your favorite thing in the world. So please take out your math packet. It should say Wednesday word problem practice. It's the same one we just did. So on here, it's really important to use your pencil, right? Because if you make a mistake, so I'm not gonna use a pencil just because I, we already figured it out. Um, and boys and girls, if you wanna use the math app that I just showed you, I'll, I'll put a link in the Google Slides for you and you can use that. It's, it's really fun. Um, so, you may have started with five and they're like, ah, that didn't work. But what you can do is you can just draw five jumps. We know it's five jumps, five equal jumps. So one, two, three, four, five. They should all look about the same. All right, so that's not going to change. And then you could have put, put your zero here. And then if you went five, 10, 15, 20, 25, that didn't work, right? Six, 12, 18, 24, 30, that didn't work. And then we figured out it was seven. So now we can put in our... And that got us to 35. So we know that five jumps of seven feet is the same as 35 feet, right? We also know that five times seven equals 35. And we also know that 35 divided into five equal groups, because that's what we started, that's what we knew we started with, is equal to seven, gives you seven equal. Um, sorry, it gives you seven um, jumps of seven, seven feet, okay? So um, you, as usual, are going to do a word problem that's very similar, okay? So if I were you, I would put my zero here, and it looks like King Kim the kangaroo took three equal jumps. So I would just go ahead and draw one, two, three, all right, and landed at 18. So you have to figure out how big are those jumps, Okay, and then fill in the part down here just the same way that I did it. All right, so either, pause, as always, pause the video right now and do this word problem, or finish the video with me and you could just go back and finish all of it. So here's your work for today, okay? I'll do, as usual, I'll do a couple with you. You're gonna have one with the numbers on it and one with an open number line, okay? One page of each. So here it says, Three jumps of what will land on 18? Well, I don't know. I know I'm going to land on 18. I know I'm starting here. I know I need three jumps. Okay? So maybe if I tried five, I would do five, 10, 15. That wouldn't work. So I'm going to try six. That's one jump. That's another jump. That's another, so that did work. And again, boys and girls, make sure you use your pencil because you might have to erase. Okay, if you tried five and then it didn't work, you'd want to erase that and then try six. Okay, so multiplication equation, right, 
is we know that three jumps of six feet gives us, lands us on 18 feet. And division, we also know that 18 divided by what equals what? Write down what you think it should be right now. Okay, and if it's not correct, I'll, cor I'll correct you in a minute. So 18 divided by, we know it was three equal jumps, equals each jump being six feet. So 18 divided by three equals six. Okay, so you're gonna finish that. And then on this page, it's the same thing, but it's an open number line. So you have to write in the numbers. Don't write in all the numbers, just do it the way I did it for the word problem, right? Just the numbers that you need um, to show. Right here, like I didn't do one, two, three, four, five, six, just the numbers that you're skip counting by, that you're hopping by, okay? All right, so boys and girls, awesome job. We're doing lots of great division. Um, this is really good stuff. I'm proud of you, you're doing a good job. Keep it up, okay? Make sure you show your teachers what you're doing, and I'll see you tomorrow. I have a new surprise for you tomorrow, all right? Bye-bye.